Hello everyone, thank you for tuning into our video. In this video, we will look at the electric vehicle with active damping demo model. This Plex demo model shows the effects of measurement error and mechanical resonance on the performance of an electric vehicle system. The model includes a control solution to mitigate the observed issue. A front wheel drive EV model has been developed in Plex using components from the control and mechanical modeling domains. The vehicle model implementation is based on two slip based wheel models. The wheel model converts the torque applied on the wheel axle into a traction force. The total traction force generated by both the front and rear wheels is then applied to the vehicle, represented here as a lumped mass. The vehicle model also incorporates the effect of acceleration and deacceleration of the weight distribution of the vehicle and the stiffness of the suspension system of the vehicle. The EV is propelled by a wide-connected permanent magnet synchronous machine attached to a single-speed gearbox via its mechanical flange connection. The damping and stiffness properties of the half shafts connecting the gearbox and differential to the front wheels of the EV are also incorporated. Inside the drive inverter subsystem, an ideal DC voltage source is used to model a battery pack supplying energy to the vehicle. The battery is connected to the DC side of a two-level voltage source inverter that drives the machine. A basic torque controller is implemented to convert the torque demand to current set points in the rotor reference frame. Next, a digital synchronous frame current regulator generates a voltage set point for a space vector modulator. If we run a simulation without the active damping algorithm, denoted by a gain of zero in the active damping enable signal, we see that from a standstill, the driver torque demand leads to a wind-up effect and oscillation in the motor speed. This occurs due to the excitation of a natural frequency of the powertrain. When modeling electric drives, it is often assumed that all measurements are ideal and accurate. However, in reality, some amount of offset and gain errors will be present in all sensors. Gain errors of the current measurement can lead to torque oscillation at twice the fundamental frequency of the phase currents. This causes a torque ripple which can reduce the vehicle drivability as seen by the sustained oscillation in vehicle speed. In the simulation, a gain error in the measurement of the two phase currents has been modeled where one phase current is overestimated by 5% and the other underestimated by 5%. One solution to minimize drivetrain oscillations is to actively control the torque demand on the PMSM. With this method, the rotor speed is measured and fed into an outer speed control loop. This outer control loop consists of a digital PI controller with an anti windup mechanism that generates a correction torque from the measured rotor speed. The correction torque, along with the torque demand of the driver, is used to modify the torque set point that is fed into the torque controller. If we now enable the active damping method to adjust the torque demand signal, the result is a significant reduction in the windup effects and oscillations that occur without the algorithm. We can further study low speed versus high speed effects with and without damping in the vehicle system. This concludes the video on the electric vehicle with active damping demo model. For more videos and further information, please visit our website at www.plexim.com.